Good day! In today's lecture, we will be discussing about the basic concepts in metabolism. Our lecture comes from Visualizing Microbiology, a Healthy Perspective by Ronnie Anderson and Linda Young. What is metabolism? So when we, uh, when we burn sugars from our diet, so we burn, we have this reaction. So we have C6H12O6, that is glucose, or the carbohydrates in our diet, plus the oxygen, oxygen that we inhale. Uh, it, it then becomes carbon dioxide, water, and ATP, which is basically the energy currency of our cell. So basically, metabolism uh, encompasses the chemical reactions inside our bodies, whether we release energy or we store the energy. So this is quite important because it, it ranges from the microscopic uh, molecular uh, molecular level up until to the national or even global scale. Where in here, in our image on the right, we have the uh, large-scale harvesting of grains, which is the source of energy for the whole uh, community. So energy and metabolism. So energy, we define it as the ability to do work or the capacity to cause change. So all, an, all organisms require energy to live. Energy is the basic part of metabolism. Metabolism is the sum total of the chemical reactions necessary for the life of an organism. So whether it's the release of energy or the uh, storage of energy, it's still metabolism. So what are the basic energy principles? So this is, just a, this is just a review from your physics. So you have kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion or energy in moving objects. We have potential energy. It's the stored energy associated with the position of an object. For so example, here is the chemical bond, the charge imbalance, concentration gradient. Basically, uh, a potential energy is uh, energy that has a potential to become something else. So kinetic and potential energy are interconvertible. So another type that we can say are chemical energy. So uh, an example here is ATP. So chemical energy is easily converted to other energy forms and can be used to drive cellular processes. So for uh, this is just a basic review of your general chemistry in energy and chemical reactions. So we have a review, as a review the exergonic reactions. These are the reactions that release energy. We have the endergonic reactions. These reactions require input of energy. So in a schematic way that we can visualize them, here we have on the left, we have your um, basically an exergonic reaction. Why do I say that this is an exergonic reaction? Because if you look at the energy, this is the energy in your reactants versus the energy in your products, your reactants have a higher amount of energy than your product. So that means since you cannot destroy energy, so what happens to that? The energy was released. So this is uh, released in the form of ATP. So another type of reaction is the endergonic reaction, whereas the reactant has lower energy than the products. So where does the energy come from? So the energy is absorbed. So here is an example for uh, photosynthesis. The energy from the sun is absorbed uh, to create your glucose molecule from uh, carbon dioxide and water molecules. So this is an endergonic. Ender is the absorption of energy. Uh, that means your uh, this reaction requires an input of energy or your products has a higher energy than your reactants. So let's add another concept, another pair of uh, words or the, uh, of terms here, catabolism and anabolism. Catabolism is a set of reactions that break down molecules into its smaller units. So molecules, example of these catabolic reactions are the oxidation of molecules to release energy and to produce ATP, such as in the case of um, the, uh, the oxidation of glucose to produce carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. And anabolism is the set of reactions that construct molecules from smaller units. Here you have, uh, for example, here is uh, the formation of glucose from carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is much smaller than glucose. So anabolism is the building up type of reaction. So when you build up, you require a lot of energy. So enzymes are required to drive this reaction. So what are enzymes? Enzymes are proteins. These are proteins that uh, they act as catalysts that enables these reactions to proceed. So here is an example of an enzyme uh, catalyzed reaction. So take note that the enzyme does not really um, input, they are 
they are the act only as catalysts, so they do not directly inject energy to anything, to its substrate. So the enzyme here, uh, the en the uh, the molecule that the enzyme catalyzes, we call it the substrate. So the substrate has its specific dimensions and charges that complement the active site of the enzyme. The active site of the enzyme is basically the part of the enzyme where your substrate uh, binds to. So this is very uh, important for the enzyme because uh, this active site must be very specific to your substrate. So only a certain type of substrate can uh, bind to your uh, active site of the enzyme. So it's actually more or less tailor-made. So the energy from the bonds between the substrate and the active site reduces the activation energy barrier. So if you remember from your general chemistry, you have an activation energy. This is an energy aside from the energy input or output during a reaction. The activation energy is the, basically it's the energy that is needed to be overcome for the reaction to occur. So the, 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 having a catalyst lowers the activation energy. So, since the activation energy barrier is also reduced, uh, as induced feed distorts the substrate into highly reactive transition state. So, the binding of the substrate to the enzyme allows the substrate to be oriented in such a way that it can easily be uh, converted to its product form. So, here, the product is released. So, once the substrate uh, has reacted to its product, it is now released from the active site of the enzyme. So this is basically a simplified schematic of how enzyme works in uh, anabolism and catabolism. So anyway, uh, this, uh, we, this concludes this part of this lecture. So we will continue on with um, specific, we will look specifically into other uh, reactions of uh, metabolic reactions in, cellular, uh, in cells.